Hello and welcome Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and this is my DIY bio pellet reactor. Now, first things first, I did not actually build this thing. I modified this. I got this as a calc stir when I got my 90 gallon tank. The previous owner put it together and that's what he was dosing calcium with on his tank. He put calc walser in there and then he would run the pump, stir up the calc walser, let it settle, and then he would pump the effluent out and that was what he would use to dose his tank with calcium. Now, I used this for a while and it only worked okay because it really stirred it way too much and it settled and I needed timers and all that and it was just more of a pain than it was worth and I was always afraid that I was going to put calc directly into my tank which could nuke my tank and who the hell wants that. So this bio pellet reactor is massive. It is 29 inches tall and uses 5 inch PVC and 5 inch acrylic tubing. And when you have a total system volume of around 450 gallons, you need a really big bio pellet reactor. And I've got about a liter and a half worth of bio pellets in there right now. And it's a mix of bulk reef supply and two little fishies bio pellets. So this thing works by using a MAG-5 pump to pump water from the tank all the way up to the bio pellet reactor. And I have a valve here so I can control the amount of water running into the system. In the off chance that this thing strips too many nitrates out of my system, I can actually dial it back. And this valve here, this is just to hold it up. When I, I built my calc reactor, I had a problem with siphoning. That valve is just a structural piece that I put in to help hold everything up to take care of the siphon issue so that that hose was up higher. So then the water is pumped down this tube and through here and up into this spray bar. This spray bar disperses the water into the bio pellet reactor. So then the water within the reactor is sucked in this tube, comes out this pipe, and feeds down to this MAG-5 pump. This MAG-5 pump is what actually stirs the bio pellets. And with this valve, I can control how much tumble I get with my bio pellets. And then the water is forced back out through this right here, down here, down here, and goes into the pump that feeds the protein skimmers and the tank. So, two thirds of the water is going directly to the protein skimmer, which is what you want. In a perfect world, I would actually have even more of it going to the protein skimmer. So you may recall a while back, I made a couple videos on my bulk reef supply bio pellet reactors, and there were some pretty big pitfalls with that thing. And the biggest pitfalls were, it uses a sponge, and then it has a tube on the bottom here with a lot of slots in it that clog up. And you can see this thing's just really dirty and nasty because that I gave up on that. I was switching this out all the time. I was cleaning these out. And these are so tightly packed that I wasn't able to get good water flow. And basically the idea behind a water, a bio pellet reactor is that you want water constantly flowing through this, but really you want it to serve as little as possible. You want the bacteria to grow on there. That thing's going to be kind of a somewhat of a nasty mess, right? That's going to be a haven for bacteria. And with the bulk reef supply one, I didn't feel like I got that. I never got a good tumble because it would very quickly clog up. I'd clean it out and then the bottom floors would clog and I'd soak it in vinegar and it still didn't seem like it cleaned very well. So when I designed this system, I made sure I had no filter material in there at all. So how do I do that? Well, the water sucks in here, right? So it's up 
really high. So it's never sucking in bio pellets. And this is what stirs it. I originally tried having a, instead of having this piece, having the water spray directly into here. Well, with the slotted design, the stir was too much and it was blasting bio pellets up here. They were sucking into the pump, clogging everything. That didn't work. So when this thing was down, I tried switching out with a straight bar so that it would help stir the bio pellets. That worked really well until the power was cut to the pump. Then it would siphon the bio pellets out and into the system. That's really bad. Imagine coming home after a day of work and all of your bio pellets are siphoned out. It's a terrible thing. It didn't actually happen to me. I caught it before that was an issue, but it very well could have. So by going with this system, I have a really good tumble. And as you can see, my Mag 5 isn't even all the way open. And my tumble is great. I can speed it up, slow it down. I could even add quite a few more bio pellets to this as I've got plenty of room to do that. I could get at least half a liter, maybe a liter in there. And I'm no longer having any risk of bio pellets getting stirred up and sunk, sucked into the pump or back into the tank. Both of these are really important to me. And this is all done without filter media. So without having any sort of filter media or narrow openings or anything, this thing doesn't clog, which is huge. So there are almost no service requirements other than adding more bio pellets when this thing runs low. And to add more bio pellets, all you do is unscrew this. The part that really sucks about it is its main seal is Teflon tape. And these, are, this cap and this fitting here don't fit very tight. So it takes a lot of Teflon tape to get a seal here. But that's really the only downside. And to be honest, bio pellets last a long time. So how's the nutrition doing? I mean, are there nitrates in my tank? So currently, my Salifert nitrate test kit is showing nitrates at 0.2, which is really low. So all in all, this is working really well. The bio pellets are keeping my nitrates down, and in case you don't fully understand how bio pellets work, basically what's going on is bacteria live on those bio pellets, they consume sugar from the bio pellets, they're also consuming nitrates and to a lesser extent phosphates from the tank. And that is being released into my system. Now the bacteria are actually coming off of the bio pellets and going through the system. They are being skimmed off in my skimmer. They are also going up to the display tank upstairs where they are becoming food. And there's a lot of evidence that says that corals feed heavily on bacteria. The mucus on a coral is supposed to actually capture a lot of bacteria and the corals are supposed to eat that. And there's evidence that shows that they get a lot of nutrition from that. And there's a lot of people with bio pellets that are saying that they're getting corals to thrive, anecdotally at least, because of the bio pellets actually helping to feed the corals. So that's about the best I can do to explain how the bio pellets work. Forgive me, I'm not an, ex an expert on the chemistry behind it or the bio pellets, but the important thing to know is by running bio pellets, it's going to help you lower your nitrates. The other thing is when looking for a bio pellet reactor, find one that doesn't use filter media and find one that's really easy to service. Or if you want to build your own, they're really not that bad. Like I said, I didn't build this, but it really wouldn't be hard to build if you wanted to build your own. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers, and I'll see you on the next one. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm always putting out new videos. And I'm also on Facebook where I'm continually putting pictures out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.